Wow. It's been over 20 years since that song came out, but it's been just 20 years since Kurt Cobain committed suicide, that anniversary uh, uh, coming up. And I'll tell you what's happening right now is that investigators taking another look at his file, apparently finding some pictures that weren't yet developed. Take a listen to this from our affiliate KIRO. This is a crime scene photo taken by a Seattle police detective who investigated the death of Nirvana's Kurt Cobain. It shows Cobain's heroin kit found within arm's reach of his body the day it was discovered, April 8th, 1994. It has syringes in it, a spoon, there is some black tar heroin in there, um, gram sizes. The Polaroid was locked away with dozens of other Polaroids and all the evidence from the Cobain investigation when his death was ruled a suicide shortly after his body was found in the gardening room above his garage. Also locked away, four rolls of undeveloped 35 millimeter crime scene film. With the 20th anniversary of Cobain's death approaching, the media unit at the Seattle Police Department asked cold case detective Mike Szynski to review the evidence. That's when he discovered the undeveloped film and had it processed, essentially reopening the case because of the new evidence. Dozens of much clearer, and in some cases completely new, photos. I was able to look at the kit, look at where the suicide note was uh, Placed. The detective told Cairo 7, although the new photos were slightly discolored, they allowed him to get a better idea of what happened when Cobain died, believed to have been three days before his body was found by an electrician. Szynski believes the cigarette-smoking Cobain was drinking root beer. That Cobain finished his suicide note in the room where he died, impaled the note with his pen into some potting soil, shot up with a fatal dose of heroin using one or two syringes, then put his heroin kit down, placed a 20-gauge shotgun into his mouth and pulled the trigger before he could collapse from the massive amount of drugs. The amount of heroin that he injected was like 10 times what normally would anybody would have taken. The large amount of heroin has led some to believe over the years that Cobain was murdered, perhaps a hit for hire. But Szynski said all evidence, including the new photos, confirmed the original conclusion. Kurt Cobain committed suicide. Uh, he killed himself because of the shotgun blast, but the heroin would have did the trick also. So he basically made sure that he did not survive. Right? Correct. The new pictures show more clearly a blister on Cobain's thumb, which Szynski said is proof Cobain pulled the trigger. In the past few weeks, Szynski has also re-interviewed family, friends, and others involved in the case. So we asked, why bother? If all evidence still points to suicide, why spend cold case hours on this case? Having this film developed also just to you know, lay this to rest would benefit us all. So basically this case is now closed? Hopefully. I'm sure until the 25th anniversary comes up. Our thanks to Amy Clandy at our Seattle affiliate KIRO. Let's bring back in the Dream Team. And Alan Duke joins us. Look at that. I haven't seen Alan in a while. Alan Duke, CNN entertainment reporter out there in L.A. Um, Alan, let me start here. Let's put up one of these photos from the undeveloped uh, roll of film, if we've got that photo. And uh, take a look at this photo, just some of the things we see. We see a cigarette butt here. Here we see the syringes. I see spoons here. Mike Brooks, uh, what does this tell you? Yeah, this looks like his works, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, but the autopsy, 10 times the amount of what would, you would, he would normally take. So it was a fatal dose, and then he shot himself with a shotgun. So he was going to die either way, and that's why it was real. Suicide. You know, Seattle police said they haven't really reopened it. There's no new leads, no new developments, but you heard what the detective said. Hopefully, this will put it to rest. Yeah, not as long as there's an internet, Mike. <laughs> Let me bring in Alan Duke. Alan Duke, is that what this is about? It's the 20th anniversary, so people are talking about it, but you put out new pictures that were never developed. That's going to fuel all the speculation. Mm -hmm. I can tell you in the business out here in Hollywood, anytime we put out preview or, or, or advertise previously unseen photos, whether it's Marilyn Monroe or JFK or <laughs> Kurt Cobain's 
death scene, we're going to get a lot of hits on, on, on those stories. And a lot of people are going to be interested. They're going to retweet it, post it on Facebook. I can tell you some of the biggest stories that I've done in the last five years are just those because people love celebrity death mysteries. It's the biggest thing going on that I write about is and then the thing we most often talk about. So this was sure to get a lot of attention. And I can tell you, though, as the detective said, there was no real reason other than the fact that it's been 20 years to even talk about this. All right. We've got another one of the photos up here. Go ahead, Darren. No, I, I, I get that previously unreleased photos are a big draw. And clearly, as Mike pointed out, with the amount of heroin in the system and the shotgun blast, this is wearing both a belt and suspenders to keep your pants up. But, but, why is it that in this initial crime scene investigation that these photos were not developed and explored? That's something that just doesn't make sense to me. Not to fuel the you. wild speculation, but I just don't like that lack of integrity. Alan's got the answer. The answer is they used two cameras at the crime scene that the police would use the remember Polaroid cameras. I love them. I wish we yes. still had them around yes. within 30 or 60 yeah, seconds. There's still you some the Polaroids print. of me that, out there, Alan. <laughs> that's what we <laughs> they initially took the crime scene pictures of. They backed it up with a more higher uh, powered uh, uh, 35 millimeter camera. It was so obvious. They made the conclusion. They said, you know, the chiefs told the detectives, mm -hmm. don't even bother. Uh, just keep the, the film. Don't develop it. We've got plenty. And so but that created the basis of a little bit of a conspiracy. People who knew that. And so this detective, the cold case detective, said, let's just settle it right now and let's develop them. And as they say, the pictures were benign. Yeah, where, where can Although you get pictures developed these days, by the way? Because everything's now, now when you go to a crime scene, everything's <laughs> digital. So it's they already have it. I mean, uh, let's go back to that other picture. Let's go back to the the prior picture because we didn't have a chance to really look at that. Go here we go. Mike, you seen anything in this picture? No, a golf towel, some cigarettes, a lighter, uh, you know, a, a glasses, a sunglasses. His identification, sunglasses. That's about it. Nothing, uh, nothing new, really. It Noth would lead uh, nothing to fuel conspiracy here, no, Tanya. Tanya, is there? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Look, these are just Kurt Cobain fans getting all worked up again because of the 20th anniversary. There are so many real cold cases out there that people need to focus on. It's just unfortunate that they're focused on this. All right, Alan Duke, great to see you, my friend. Hey, Alan, if you find those old Polaroids of me, please keep them to yourself. Please, yeah, yeah. I'm begging you. Hope, yeah, hope you're